Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the last video, we finished our script to control our truck. Today, we are going to create a third person camera that will follow our truck as we drive it. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. So, the first thing that we are actually going to do is to create a new script. So I'm going to use open our script folder and I'm going to create a new C sharp script and I'm going to call it third person camera. Okay, we have our script ready. So next I'm going to open the script in my code editor and we are actually going to start by, ad by adding some variables to our script. So let's wait a bit while Visual Studio opens. And this is actually taking a little bit long, so let's just wait. Okay, so we have here our script in Visual Studio. So, um, let's start by adding some variables. So for this particular script, we are actually going to need a distance away variable. This variable is, will be the distance that we want to position the camera behind our truck. So let's start by adding that, so we want it to be public, so we can change it on the editor. Public float distance away. which is, like I said, the distance that we want to position the camera. Alright, so, next the second variable is distance up, which is the distance uh, up for the camera, so it will, we want it to be above the ground, so this is basically the distance we want to set there. Again, we're going to use a public float. Oops, whoops, okay, float distance up, which is the up distance up distance for the camera. And next, we need a variable for smooth. Now, this value will represent how fast the camera moves from the current position to the place where we want the camera to be placed. So, again, we're going to set the public float smooth, which is the smooth value. For the camera. Right. So this will be our public variables. Next we have some private ones. The first one that we are actually going to use is the, um, the follow variable, which will be a transform that we want to follow. In this case will be the transform from our player, right? So uh, that in this particular case will be the transform of our truck, but we will set it as a transform for our player. So we set it to private and we want it to be a transform I misspell this I misspelled it again ok transform and I'm going to call it follow ok so this is the transform to follow which will be the player Right. Finally, we also will need the final position of the camera. So for this, we're actually going to use a private vector tree. And we'll set it to target position. Which is the final position of the camera. 
okay so next thing you want to do is actually move on to the start method and we actually want to, to, to set the transform that we want to follow so we are going to set our camera to follow the player right so for this we are actually going to follow equals and we could use the editor but to not in order to not have many properties on the editor and having to do this every time we want to use this script on a new scene we are actually going to find the player by script how you do this well you use uh, tags so you are actually going to use game object you want to find the game object find game object with tag and you actually want to search for the player okay so this will be the game object you want to, to, to search for and we want to transform of this game object right so this is to find the player game object okay so basically what you're doing here is to find the game object with, which is the, which has the tag player we are that we are going to set with the tag player and we are going to store the transform of that game object in our follow transform okay so next we are actually going to use a new function in unity that we haven't used it earlier which is late update so i'm going to just delete the plate that we are not going to use it and I'm going to set void late update and this function is quite useful because if you are working with cameras uh, it will this function will only runs after all updates to the other objects have been done so this is the ideal place to set up the camera code because it will assure you that everything is on the right position when you actually change the position of the camera all right so the first thing we want to do here is to set the target position to the current offset so we do this on the following way basically we set target position and we say this is going to be equal to the follow position so the position of the transformer the transform that we are going to follow so in this case the transform of the player plus the follow up vector so this assures you that uh, for example um, the camera is always pointing in the right direction so if you for example if you use the vector up here uh, instead of using follow up what will happen is if you have a, a plain terrain it will be no problems but if you, ha if you have um, a not plain terrain what would happen is the camera would not uh, change the position properly so we want to actually use the follow-up in order to make sure is always following the the up vector of the player and next we are going to multiply it by the distance up minus the follow forward position right and multiply it by the distance away so basically this is the formula that we use to set the, the camera offsets okay so now that you have this done we are actually going to do is to take care of the smooth so we want to set the smooth transition between the current position of the camera and the target position to do that we are actually going to change the the transform position of our camera using the lerp function so to this you actually go to transform position keep in mind that you are actually referring to the transform of the camera here okay so this is since this one is the transform of the object where the script is so in this case you want the script to be in the camera so this will be the transform of the camera equals to vector 3 
dot and now we want to use the lerp function which is right here and no, no, not like this and we want to pass to pass to the to the lerp function several parameters and the first one is the transform position so the current position of the camera next you want to give it the the so just like the description says so you guys can understand it better the, the lerp function interpolates between two vectors so vector a and vector b so vector a in our case will be the transform position and vector b is the will be our target position so target position and now we set the smooth value so we set smooth and we want to multiply it so it will uh, adjust in time with time dot delta time okay so this is for to set the smooth is to set smooth for the camera and finally we want our camera to look at the truck so to do this we simply will use the look at function so you're going to set transform dot look at and we are going to set the transform that we want our camera to look at in this case will be the follow transform okay so this will make the camera look at the player at the player okay so our script is ready so as you guys can see is a very simple script um, now let's add it to our camera so let's save it okay going back to unity we want to, we want to select our main camera here we want to add this script to our camera and now as you guys can see we have three values here the distance away distance up and smooth that you can actually set um, for example let's set to 5 2 and 3 for example I'm not sure if these values are going to work for our truck if we if they not work we are just going to adjust them okay and finally we are actually going to select our truck because if we don't if we do not do this uh, our camera will not work and we'll have to set the tag here which is an tag and we have to set to player so the camera will know how to which object to follow so let's press play let's see how it works and as you guys can already see the values that we set here from distance away distance up are not the best ones so let's change the values a little bit so for example like this and up a little bit like this for example so 18 and 7 actually is more 8 than 7 so let's press play now and as you guys can see now the camera is now on position and now if I actually try to drive as you guys can see the camera now follows our truck and it seems to be working just fine now as you guys can see it seems to be shaking a little bit you, can, you guys can actually um, improve this by changing the smooth value for example for a crazy value for example like 50 And as you guys can see, it's much smoother. You not you not all, you don't see the the shaking of it anymore. So it seems to be working just fine. And we drive our truck. So you can guys can actually use this script for uh, any third person camera you want to use. Keep in mind this is a very basic um, third person camera script. You have to keep in mind that, for example, in certain games, 
you have to be careful with collisions of the camera so the camera does not uh, enter any walls or anything like that but otherwise this script is a uh, simple and works just fine so even if I actually move backwards which I'm going to break right now and now I'm actually going to break to make our track stop okay and as you guys can see even when I'm moving backwards the camera is working just fine so perfect and you can simply adjust the values here which is uh, quite simple so okay guys this is how you create a simple third person camera Hope you guys enjoy today's lesson, until next video, have a nice day.